Okay, for this solo, what we're looking at is a way to play through all three chords of a 12-bar blues without really leaving one position. We're in the key of D, so we're going to work out of the 12th fret and almost the whole solo, well, the whole solo does happen using just the 12th fret and a couple of notes on the 11th and 10th fret. The thing that makes this work is something called right-hand muting. What I'm doing is I've got my ring finger on the high string, middle finger on the second string, and index on the third string, thumb on the fourth string, and the back of my thumb resting on the bottom two strings. So just with my hands, my hand on the strings, I've got whatever, I've got all the strings muted. If I want to hear the fourth string, I pick it with my thumb and then come back to position where everything's muted. If I want to hear the third string, I pick it with my index finger and then come back and block it off again. So when that finger's up, you can hear the note. When it's down, you can't. If I go to play on some higher strings, I tend to move this whole thing over. Thumb, thumb, thumb. Kind of like that. So that lets you hear just one note at a time. So for that first lick, there you're just hearing one note at a time as opposed to on the first exercise where we would have done and heard it all ring. So that first lick happens like that on the fourth and third string and then so there it is the thumb plays the fourth string index plays the third string and then to play the second string I bring my thumb over to mute the third string and pick with the middle finger and then work backwards and then Move the whole thing down to the fifth and fourth strings. And bring in the pinky. And the reason that works is because you're hitting the fifth string with the thumb. As you pick the fourth string with your index finger, the thumb comes back in. And then the index finger comes in as the thumb picks. And then one more time, the index finger. And then you pull back real quickly from the twelfth to the tenth fret. That's a real typical move um, of Dwayne Almond's, that kind of rocking back and forth. You can practice it that way, just basically it's like an on-off switch. Thumb down, finger up. Uh, thumb up, finger down. And then on that last note, when you pick with the next finger, just yank that slide back real quick, 12 to 10. Now, when you get to the four chord, here's the major third in D. When you go to G, uh, which is the four in this key, you don't want to hear this note anymore, that F sharp. You want to hear F natural, which is the flat seven of a G chord. So the lick that we play at the top of the four chord is a slide 10 to 11, back to 10, and then over to the 12th fret on the fourth string. That wouldn't really work unless you had this muting going on because if you just played it all open, the slide would bring the third string note back up to the 12th fret. But since you're killing it with your index finger, everything's cool. And then when you get back to the one chord, you can open it back up and play at the 12th fret. Now when you get to the five chord, That's another Dwayne Allman kind of lick. You're sliding from the 12th fret on the second string into the high string, and then pulling back to the 11th fret using that same thumb technique. This time it's, I use my thumb on my middle finger. And again, if you did it all open, it would be sort of meaningless. But if you pull back and mute everything, and then slide 10 to 11 on the high string, and then cut off that note with your finger as your thumb is getting the second string. It sounds like you're playing this note, which is a C sharp. That's the major third of the A chord. So that's how you kind of spell out the A chord when you're on the four, when you're, when you're, on, the, when you're on the five chord. That's how you grab the major third of the five chord. And then 
back to the licks at the 12th fret. <laughs> 